to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. The city of Lucknow is home to monuments and architectural wonders that maintain their magnificence, telling tales of the glorious history of the city. One such historically rich monument, the Chota Imambara or the Imambara of Hussainabad in the Old City, is purely an architectural marvel. Also known as the Palace of Lights because of the exquisite chandeliers decorated inside, which when illuminated on special occasions, give a spectacular view of the complex. In 1775, Nawab Asaf ad -Dawla shifted the capital of Awadh from Faizabad to Lucknow, which marked the beginning of a series of social, cultural and historical developments in the city. Muhammad Ali Shah, the third Nawab of Awadh, built this magnificent Imambara in the second year of his reign in 1839. It is said that the Nawab built this monument as a token of allegiance to his faith. The Imambara complex would also later serve as a mausoleum for the Nawab and his family members. Azamullah Khan, the superintendent of the King's Ordnance and Building Department, supervised the construction of the Husseinabad Imambara. The architecture of the building is a mixture of Indian, Persian and Islamic design. The glittering gold-plated large and small domes of the Imambara, readily ribbed, can be seen from a distance which is a sight to behold. The Chota Imambara complex comprises of a main hall, a mosque, a Nobat Khana, a Hammam Khana and a stable for horses. A beautiful water channel with fountains, with a bridge in the middle and two structures on the either side of the lake which are said to replicate Taj Mahal in a reduced size. One of these structures serves as a mausoleum for Nawab Muhammad Ali Shah's family. A similar structure was built just opposite the mausoleum for symmetry. Steps along the Chabutra lead to the Aza Khana, the main hall where the Majlis Morning session for Imam Hussein takes place. There are five main doors which signify the Holy Five of Prophet Muhammad's family. The Aza Khana's large green and white bordered hall is richly decorated with Belgian chandeliers, gilded mirrors, crystal glass lamps and also contain the royal throne and crown of Nawab Muhammad Ali Shah. Nawab Muhammad Ali Shah and his mother are buried below the floor in the basement of the Aza Khana Hall. There are large stucco calligraphy panels seen on the outer walls of the main hall and adjacent buildings. Its simplicity, designed in white against a contrasting dark backdrop, enhances the grandeur of the verses of the Quran that are beautifully engraved in it. The compound also has a hammam as a part of the Abdar Khana which serves as a water storage and cooling system. The Husseinabad Endowment Trust looks after the Chota Imambara and from 7th to the 9th day of Mohorram, it arranges the illumination of the Chota Imambara and its gateway. The Chota Imambara at Husseinabad is truly exceptional and a must-see for visitors to Lucknow.